All right, so one player, and we'll go. Uh, we'll go team dolphins. All right, let's check out Make the levels. So. Let's do it. Boulder in uh, Boulder in the air. Make it so. Let's do it. Uh, Favmo, thanks for four months. RDA, thanks for the resub. Thank you very much. Make it so. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. Uh. Oh. Welp. <laughs> now he one shots it. You know, I don't think anybody appreciates. Make it so. Whether you are. And this goes for the organizers, the level creators, the audience. Sir, it goes I for protest. everybody. I am not a merry man. Literally goes for everybody involved. Nobody understands so. how hard, how difficult, and how stressful Make it is it to so. do this on the stage. Nobody gets it. <laughs> that goes for literally everybody. Uh, Mad Mad, thanks for the resub, but thank you very much. This is a very, very, uh, very Borgy Man level. Definitely feels a lot like Luminescent. Ah, I killed it except for the Yoshi flying. Did you miss Doom 2? Nah, man, I, I haven't played Doom 2 since I left. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> I keep going too fast. I keep going too fast. <laughs> You feel really refreshed at the GDQ. I said on Discord, but on, honestly, in the end, in the end, vacations, vacations are more stressful than fucking working, honestly. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, did I not hit? Oh, maybe I didn't hit it. Uh, stream error. Thanks for 33 months. Mainly thank Mike. Thank you for the 18 months. This part is so sick. Uh, yeah, all of the levels were super, super cool. All the levels were super cool. Ah, I suck. I'm gonna actually stay home and yeah, you stayed home doing nothing, right? Sir, uh, I protest. I, I am not. A you know, it feels man. like I'm hitting. I'm hitting it, but I'm not because I'm only collecting the coins somehow. Cat sitting fee? Nah, it's all good. I'm really wide. Well, thanks, man. I try my best. I took their daughter. That's, you know, fair. <laughs> yeah, I got got by that. I definitely got got by that in the race. There we go. Like, I never even got to play this section. <laughs> I never even got here. You're impressed to see I have legs. Yeah, most streamers do. Make it so. Huh? Yeah, whatever, whatever patriotism I may have. Maybe, maybe last night watching my cats run in terror on July 3rd. Perhaps that uh, removes some of that for me. Oh, I got both at once. Uh. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's like the flavor of wildfire smoke in the back of your throat. It's really nice to play these levels now in like a more relaxed setting. It's very, very nice to play these levels now. Do, 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 do. Make it so. Hey, that was a really cool level. 
Very, very luminescent. Very fun. Very, very fun. The chair hopping looked awful. Dude, it would have been so much worse. So uh, there was a lot of um that level was uh Ketalik and Borgiman. Ketalik and Borgiman. Um there was a lot of uh, I'm I'm not sure how much like you guys are aware of and how much like has been has been, people have talked about it already. There was a lot of like turmoil before the race. So like originally it was going to be one life and we were going to all be able to sit and not move, right? So when they got there, they discovered that there was really no good way for us to sit because essentially we were going to be looking at the monitor at like a 45 degree angle and shit like it was just going to be so awful so it basically like the multi-tap thing wasn't going to work out so that's why it was decided to rotate then it was so like so that was one of the that that was one of the first things then it was decided that the levels were too fucking hard for one life because like you just die, die, die. It was decided that the levels were just too hard for that. So they compromised. And they, it was a lot of back and forth. And then they finally decided, okay, three lives, which I actually think that that was, I, I wasn't sure. I obviously without seeing the levels, I I don't know, but uh, I, I, I couldn't know, but they were obviously right with the three life thing. They were definitely correct. That was the right decision. So shout out to the organizers and stuff. Also before the race, I don't know how much you guys know, but like the the like the hack was just crashing and there were problems like right up to like the hours just like hours before the race even started like the the, the game was crashing there were problems there were level nerfs so they really they the the all the organizers like D the fourth and Mark Alarm and everybody they were literally working on this like hours before the actual race <laughs> like literally hours before the race they were still working on it so it was honestly crazy. I know, yeah, it really came down to like, it was like two hours before the race and they were like, finally we're done, <laughs> which is, which is kind of fucking wild. So imagine their relief when everything went so smoothly. It did go very smoothly, no crashes or anything. Also, that's not even like the hat. There's even more too, because for the final level, they wanted us to have an audio like this because the music was important in that level. So they wanted us to have headphones so. on and we weren't going to share headphones. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have our headphones run in and plug it in when we were going to play. And then when we were dead, we were supposed to unplug and then get and then move back. Like it was going to so. be like and we they were like, OK, go ahead and start practicing that. And I was like, oh, my God, it was actually a third wall and Juz uh, were the ones that were like, yeah, that's going to be fucking awful. Uh, we should have like head we should have like speakers and stuff so and, and eventually that that's what ended up happening yeah so but that that was gonna be a fucking nightmare <laughs> I mean I show up to these things and I'm like all right I'll do whatever you want whatever man <laughs> so all right let's go to the next level oh yeah this level is sick so this level this level is very g breeze very very g breeze. Make it so. Make it so. Okay. Uh, Soryu, thank you for the 27 months. How do you think this works? A layer two with boost blocks? Uh, I don't know, something about something coded where if Mario lands, it sends sprites launching up. I'm not sure. Some Uber ASM. Or just one shot it. This was the part over here that I just could not get for the life of me. <laughs> Damn. Should use the cannon blast sound? Too fast. These levels are so creative. I was sometimes sometimes guys, you're too good. The shockwave is an HDMA. Really, like, there's so many things they can do now with visual effects, it's crazy. Yeah, the disco shell part, I just could not figure out for the life of me. Dude, third wall getting up pipe there was such a tragedy. Oh yeah, if you hit that at something. <laughs> That's so good, dude. That's so good. 
Did third wall get he got up pipe twice? Did he really? That level's really sick. That's a really good level. What else did you get up to at GDQ? Um, like I said, we went to the we went to Mini Haha. We went to the uh, the Institute of Art. When uh, so it's a really really great museum there. Uh, uh, just about as good as the ROM, honestly. So that was really nice. Um, yeah, we just had a great time. Had a great time. Okay, no broken toes, no. Ah, too fast. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, nobody gave me a loose bag of cigarettes. <laughs> I still don't get it. <laughs> still don't get it. Trying. Ah, uh, hey, thank you for the tier three. Appreciate it. Whoop. Hmm. Uh, Crimson, thank you for the tier 3 22 months. Thank you very much. We're gonna figure it out now. It's like tongue, then pump. I got a tongue, then pump. Make it so. Make it so. <laughs> hmm. No disrespect to BK, but this level felt out of place. Um, I would say this was my least favorite level for sure. At the risk of it being like sour. Oh, you're just sour grapes because you couldn't do it. I don't know. This level, this level definitely felt like it kind of stood out for for not being the same kind of levels as the other ones. But I mean, you need variety and stuff too, so. I think also like the audience is gonna have very little idea of what's going on in this level as well too. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I think like a more like a cape level. Be I don't, I'm not against a cape level, but I don't know if I have to hold right through there or something. But I, honestly, though, I also think that BK doesn't give a shit what anybody thinks. So I don't, th I don't think he fucking cares. So <laughs> we could be like, this level was by far the worst. It was so bad. I don't think BK gives a shit. So it's also just kind of generally like the beginning is kind of slow and. Uh, so that's wrong. Yeah, that was... So I shouldn't have spit there. Okay. What are you supposed to do? So this level has a very specific tech called Yoshi Flight. Um, they actually had warned us that it was going to be in the race. They warned us that Yoshi Flight was going to be in the race. And my, my game plan was, eh, it'll be fine. <laughs> So they were like specifically like, hey, Yoshi Flight's going to be in the race. And I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll be fine. Okay, that was close. I think that's close. Yeah, I was, I was literally figuring it out in the race itself. <laughs> I think I got it once. I got it once in the race. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, KLM, thanks for the 33, uh, the 30 months. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, snap. Thanks for the resub. Thank you, guys. Make it so. And then, I, so that was Yoshi Flight, but then I died. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, even like, let's say this is the worst race level. It's still a really fucking cool level. See, I'm not. I'm, for some reason, I'm I'm losing uh, I'm losing flight there or something. Still a really cool level. There we go. So there, I pressed run when I should not have. All right. All right. 
There we go. Uh, okay. Well, we gotta figure it out again. <laughs> See, like... I don't fucking get this. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> you can't let go or run. Where were you during the race? Ugh. Hang on. I wish Third Wall told me that. God. This is horrible. So I guess the snake blocks activate if you lose flight. Okay. Okay, I think we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. The race is great. Highly recommended. Really impressed everybody's performance at GDQ. Everybody had great moments. I totally agree. Ah, uh, Felipe, thank you for the 20 months. Ow, ow. My legs are still fucking sore. Uh, thank you, Felipe. Make it so. Uh, Ruby Weapon, thank you for the resub. Make it so. very much. Whose idea was it to dab anyway? Uh, that was all third wall's idea. He was like, listen, if we're going to lose, guys, uh, we should dab every time. Actually, I think third wall said that, that he had never dabbed before until then. <laughs> Those were his first ever dabs. Your pro yeah, it was a, he was a good first time dabber, yeah. Tofu called the display absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I did ask, I did ask Shavda and, For and, uh, and Third Wall, so. how many Fortnite dances do you guys know? And uh, they walked away from me. So I was ready to do the, the, the floss, you know, the... <laughs> uh, all right, Cyberkinesis. Let's do it. Make You're it so. deceased at the picture of Flip Flop Barb. Yeah, this level was an absolute fucking mind fuck. <laughs> the fucking PlayStation sound. All right, this level's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Is mode seven going to become the new Cassio water? Well, ca implementing the Cassio water, the pressure, is it pressurized water? I can't remember the name of it. That's like a one click thing. This is a whole other fucking monster to implement. So the answer is no, this is still going to be something you're, you're only going to see very rarely. Yeah, implementing this is not, is not easy at all.
Hoi! Do this is a fair race level? Uh, this level? Absolutely, yeah. Dude, I almost clutched it at the end. I, th I think I almost clutched it at the end. At the end, I did. I was doing everything perfect, and I got fucked over by a Jesus shell that I didn't know was coming. Like, I was doing everything super well right at the end, and a fucking Jesus shell. I, I didn't know a Jesus shell was coming, and that killed me. And yeah, and then Shabda missed the door, right? I'll show you the Jesus shell. Uh, okay. Uh, Davik, thank you for the 31 months. It was great seeing you, GDQ. Yeah, it was a really, really close race. It was a close race that the score did not do justice to, for sure. The score would have you believe it was a blowout. First time you're confused of a hack. I am confused of a hack, Gabnon. Victory Dead, saw you do a mini AMA on Reddit. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, on Reddit, somebody posted uh, a little, uh, like a, Two minute clip of Grand Portal 2 Bowser went, uh, got a shitload of upvotes on Reddit. And, uh, I was in the comments there. I was in the comments, like, talking about it. Ah. Yeah, some of the, some of the comments are just amazing there. <laughs> yeah, it's on our sweaty palms. Uh, I, oh shit! <laughs> I don't remember this. Session. Yeah, there, I I love the people who are like, yeah, I beat this. Took me like five or six tries. It was really hard. All the people fucking pretending in the <laughs> pretending in the comment section. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I beat this as a kid. Can you explain the technical details on how to create this sort of micro effects in this level? So this involves the graphics. Uh, it's like the graphic mode called Mode 7. That's like, if you remember Vanilla Super Mario World, like uh, Bowser at the end is Mode 7. And I don't think it's something that, uh, that Super Mario World takes too much advantage of in Vanilla Super Mario World. But obviously like coders can like, so I think Kaizo Man had a huge hand in like implementing and creating all these graphical effects and stuff right so it's really fucking difficult and it's an absolute mess to create and play test and stuff so this level is just insanely impressive so yeah maybe uh later maybe later titles for the super nintendo use mode 7 more often than you know how much to hire uh kiazo man well first you gotta spell his name right <laughs> <laughs> Where Kiazo man want higher Kiazo man? Ah, too fast. Uh Super Fly Goon, thank you for the tier three twenty nine months. Thank you very much. Make it so. There we go. How much Cassio men? Make it so. 
All right, is this Jesus shell? Dude, the zoom was so... Yeah, that Jesus shell is what's fucked me over, dude. If not for that Jesus shell, I would have had it. Not for that Jesus. That was the Jesus shell. I had, I was doing fine. I didn't know a shell was coming from fucking nowhere. <laughs> I would have had, it. I was right there. That was composer with the Keck W me enjoy. Uh, Op Faz, thank you for the 36 months. Drum UNL, thank you for the 52 months. Yeah, that level is really, really cool. That level is really cool. Very cool one. All right, thrice ghosted, <laughs> let's do it. This level was also really fucking cool. This is a really cool one. Oi. Oi. Tip, reading messages is slow and may make you lose the race. <laughs> make it so. <laughs> So good. Ah. We all read it. We all read that message, I think. <laughs> we literally all read that. Make it so. Uh, Ravioli, thanks for the 27 months. Great to have you back. It was a joy watching the race. Your team clutched it out in the end. Yes, we did. Yeah, this was made exclu Nobody had seen these levels, you know, aside from the creators and the uh, testers and stuff. Uh, they were all new levels for GDQ. Yeah, that was a funny message for sure. Yeah, this level is really, really sick. Ah, shit. Was my wife excited that I was the champion? I mean, she was just she was just proud and happy and stuff. So, she was she was happy with it all. Do you know who any of the testers were? Yeah, yeah, a lot of people tested. There was there was a ton of testers actually. Make it so. Make it so. Ah. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 <laughs> that part's so cool, that part's so cool. Uh, Mr. Monop, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, Mr. Monop. Yeah, that's so cool. Make it so. Uh, Lemon Make Joker, so. thanks for the resub. Thank you very much. Daddy's back, daddy's back. Uh, I don't remember what to do. How much time was put in these for the idea from GDQ to completion? Uh, it was just a, from what I understand, it was just a ludicrous amount of work. Just a ludicrous amount. Bits. Glad you're back. Wow. Uh, Super Flygoon, thanks to the 500 bits. Thank you very much. That's one in the race really solidified myself as a based red pilled Chad. Good lord. <laughs> ah. Oh, shit. I so. <laughs> could I hear the comment? No, I couldn't. No. It all just comes across as noise when you're on the stage. Ah. Glad you had fun. Now let's forget about ever leaving us again. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I don't think there are plans to do another SMW relay race at uh, AGDQ. I don't think there's like plans because this one was like, it's, I, I don't think there's like the energy for it, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? Shit. You hope there is? Yeah, I mean, maybe it'll be maybe it'll be an SGDQ thing only. I I don't know. We'll see. Really, it's down to the organizers and you know who wants to put it together. And... <laughs> I 
<laughs> You're sad for Pooh. It was, yeah. Moments later. <laughs> it was definitely sad that he couldn't make it and uh, that we missed out on the race. Um, and uh, yeah, that was dumb. I, I'm, I'm glad everybody's feeling better though, like slowly feeling better. But we definitely, we definitely missed Pooh there for sure. Okay, too fast. You'd be okay with GDQ running another race of this hack? Oh, who not? You know what? We, we were talking about this at GDQ itself. Um, it seems like Kaizo is like almost a mainstay at this point. It used to be. Uh, it used to be that uh, like it was very rare for like one Kaizo Mario hack to like actually get in. Like it used to be that. But nowadays it seems like Kaizo's in almost so. every time. So. At this point, like, who knows? Like, we, we might see some different hacks this coming winter. Like, who knows? Uh, the Booble, thanks for the 22 months. Thank you, the Booble. Any kind of Kaizo Mario anything getting in the GDQ used to be a... Used to be a, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, who knows? I mean, so in the past few years, obviously, we had Grand Pool 2. There was uh, Gracie World. Um... Oh, I just realized it's so weird. It's like auto bouncing you. Is that what it is? It's so strange. Yeah, it's like a weird auto bounce kind of thing. Uh, Pog Chapham. Thank you for the 26 months. Thank you, Thank Pog you so. Chapham. Make it so. That's so, dude. That's so weird. Uh, e dubs. Thanks to the twenty-two months. Thank you, e dubs. Okay, I can see. Well, I think you'd be a little silly to come back from GDQ and not play the game you were there for doing at GDQ. I feel like that'd be a little silly. I'm 80 hours behind on FTL. Which level did I bring the GDQ? Uh, so I I did bring. It wasn't even so much that I wanted people to really play Grand Pool Three. I had one level, so I made a backup on my SD card, and I just happened to have it. And Third Wall and I were practicing. And I, I just asked him, hey, do you want to play a level from Grand Portal 3? And he was like, sure. <laughs> so third wall, third wall played a tiny snippet of Grand Portal 3. Only one level. First play tester. Have you ever really played the 2019 hack? I have not, no. Never got around to it. Did he beat it? Yes, he beat it. It's just not even real at all. <laughs> yes, he beat it. Hey, what happens if you lose the key right here? Like, what if you throw the key away? <laughs> it's, I just realized that's starting to play Neon Genesis Evangelion, right? I just realized. <laughs> you think it respawns? Pooh played that and thought it was real. Yeah, I just realized that. I didn't hear that at all. Could be sticky it might be sticky yeah that level was real yeah that was a really really good level that was a really good level i think maddie as a level creator is she's she's obviously brilliant sometimes it goes a little too far and it's like oh my god but like she's definitely like super brilliant so all right next level uh fester thank you for the eight months thank you fester I didn't go to Mall of America. Make it so. Make it so. Make it so. Hee <laughs> hee. This level's a bit rough. Make it so.
Yeah, this level was really tough to figure out on the fly under stress at, and like switching hands, like switching from one to the other. It was it was this was a really really tough level to figure out. I think we barely finished this one. Make it so. Are there any changes you would make for the next relay race? Um, I think the format was great. Um, I don't know if I don't know. I, I never know who's watching. Obviously, there's, there's typically there's a lot of people in here. I think the only thing I would say is that obviously these levels were way crazier than the levels, like in terms of like what was going on and the difficulty and stuff. These levels were way crazier for Make for the show. audience and for the players. I think that at some Make point you reach a diminishing return of craziness where no, the audience no longer so. has any idea what they're even watching anymore because it's most people, a lot of people watching, may, maybe maybe they have a rudimentary knowledge of Mario. You know what I mean? Like maybe. But when you when you start throwing more and more crazy tech, like the audience is, you have to, you'd have to really explain what Yoshi Flight is uh to to an average smw viewer right so like i feel as though you don't you don't need to one up this like i feel like this is the absolute limit and if you try to go crazier than this then i feel like the audience because you want the audience to understand what's happening as well as the players right so i don't necessarily think that the next levels have to be like holy shit, so crazy you know you don't always have to escalate Honestly, like the 2019 levels, like I, I really enjoyed the 2019 levels as well. Like you can have like a mix of really, really crazy ASM and you can have something more traditional too. So I think like a blend of that would be okay. And not everything has to be fucking like bonkers insane. Like you can, I, you, you need a little bit of punch. I think this, 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 this year's levels kind of had that too. Like I think the, the G Breeze miracle so. level, miracle water level is pretty like, not too insane, right? But I think at some point you reach a point of diminishing return for the players and the audience on insanity. I guess is, is my is my only thing I would say. So I kind of I I'm more of an old school player where I kind of like I kind of like figuring out shitty jumps and and what to do more so than like. Holy crap, insane, insane custom stuff. But I enjoy everything, honestly. I like playing anything. As long as it's well made, I don't mind. Make it so. Make it so. Uh, Marimba Man, Thunder Wizard, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Ah, who knows? Oh God! <laughs> you were not a fan of this level. I like this level. This level is really cool. I like this level a lot. I think this part is really tight and really hard to. It's kind of hard to see what to do next. It's pretty well guided with the coins and shit. This part's just really, really. It was really tough to figure out in the race. Third wall, that's how you get into a pipe third wall, by the way, in case in case you needed the demonstration. <laughs> that's how you do it. that walking on the top of these these snake blocks going up like in the race like i'm sitting there like this like trying to slowly walk on these fucking things man that was scary as hell <laughs> uh zazojo thanks to the bits omg no way thanks to the resub thank you guys oh yeah katie had a great time 
It was funny seeing her, like, get all, like, shy and flustered when people would ask her to, like, sign stuff and ask for a picture and stuff. <laughs> Ah! Uh, Benjineer, thank you for the 49 months. Shoujo was very impressive. Yeah, it's definitely cool when um, new players and like... I mean, Shoujo's been playing stuff for a long time, obviously, but... It's cool when somebody else can get recognition and be like, Oh, man. This player is legit amazing. Oh. <laughs> I did it again. Honestly, there's a, there's a, there's a ton, there's a ton of really really talented Super Mario World players at this point. I still remember when Shoujo. I feel like Shoujo only really just recently started playing Super Mario World. Like she's been playing for a while now, but like it hasn't been that long. She hasn't been she hasn't been playing Mario World for like as long as like I have or something, and she's already that good. So making so. There we go. Orb. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Uh, RCH, thank you for the 36 months. Nocturnal, thank you Make for the 33 so. months. Uh, Tone Cone, Kenton, Embers, thank you for the resubs. Thank you very much. Did I win Make the race? So. Yes, I, I won the race. Our team won. <laughs> so, Juz and I sat down for the interview. I got to the interview first. And when I got to the interview, I, I can't remember his name, but, but the interviewer was like, hey, so what's your team name? And I was like, uh, uh, crap. Uh, so I was on Discord like, hey, what's my team name? I think we're like the Dolphins or something. Uh, so I was like, okay, R I had to get confirmation. Like, okay, we're the RNG Dolphins. Okay, fine. So then it's like, all right, all right. So then Juz shows up and, and <laughs> the interviewer asked Juz, hey, Juz, what's the name? What's your team name? And Juz was like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we both forgot our team names. <laughs> that shit was great. We, neither of us was sure. I was like, I forgot our team name too. <laughs> great captains, yeah. <laughs> okay. God. I appreciate the oh, oh what I thought I hit it. You know, the one thing about this level, I think that with this level, the palette is a bit of a nightmare. It's too many similar colors, so it's really hard to see what's going on. That's the issue with this level. It's like some stuff looks like ground and some stuff, yeah, it's just I think the foreground and the background and shit needed to be very, like, needed to be way more distinct. Uh, Eagle Eye. Oh. Bye bye. Eagle Eye, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you, Eagle Eye. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh. Shit. Should have had an orb that looked like a golden statue. There we go. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you should start Necro Dancer. Make it so. God. God. <laughs> what a nightmare.
This level is cool to watch. Hmm. Make it so. Yeah, yeah. Zixer, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you, Zixer. I wonder at what point the uh, star blocks were added that reset you instead of killing you. I feel like there was like a, oh shit, this is bullshit moment. <laughs> They're like, we better, we better make this a little less bullshit. Okay. Okay. Shit. <laughs> oh, I had it. What? This fucking room. Yeah. It's so weird how you like inter you only interact with it on certain frames. Too much hilarious to watch in the race. Yeah. It's funny to have those moments where people like just spaghetti and panic. Those are great moments, I think. Make it so. Uh, Goat House, thank you for the eight months. Okay. I almost think you could, like, make that, but no, I think you can. Shit. <laughs> uh, Spud Boy, thank you for the 22 months. Thank you, Spud Boy. Has a game and watch feel. Oh. Ah, the background. Yeah, that's one thing. You know, you know what's funny is I feel like with D, D the Fourth. D the Fourth is obviously an amazingly talented human being, and we are all fortunate to have her in the community. What's amazing, what's really funny about D the Fourth, though, with, with D the Fourth's levels, is that te the technical stuff is outlandishly so far advanced from everybody else. But now she has to learn like the basics of level design, <laughs> and and she's gotten better. She's definitely gotten better. But it's funny. It's like total cart before the horse, where she has she's like light years ahead on everything else and like the basic level design stuff is catching up she's definitely gotten so much better though for sure hmm. that's a good ah uh, yeah it's a great position to be in one i mean learning basic level design stuff isn't that imp oh god <laughs> learning basic level design stuff like that's that's not too bad That's so common in fan stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, there's another person like that I feel like is uh, Kaze in the Mario in the Mario 64 community. Like, Kaze makes some fucking insanely, like, wild shit. But, like, the actual level design is lacking with Kaze. So, like, there's a lot of people like that, I think. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> God. <laughs> you know that meme? You know the meme of the guy who's like playing the game and he's like, he's like sweating. And <laughs> that was, that was 100% me during the race. <laughs> That was 100% me in the race. Make it so. I'm flashbacks. Make it so. I'm flashbacks. No! 
I'm literally having flashbacks. Make it so. Make it so. Make it so. Ah, I tried. I wonder if you can get that fast enough, actually. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't choke in the race. I'm so glad. Make it so. Uh, the Psy, thank you for the 10 months. Montezuma, Rad Sigil, PK Shootout. Uh, Helms Deepness, thank you for all the resubs. Thank you very much. Am I going to do the Mario Maker race levels? Yeah, I'll do the Mario Maker race levels. Sure, why not? Maybe, maybe not today, but I'll do them. I'm going to say this about the Mario Maker race levels. If, I don't want to say that they were boring because there were definitely some really good levels. I feel like Donkey Mint's level was a real standout for me. Make it so. Make it God, so. God, what a nightmare this is. How did I do this? <laughs> How did I do this? <laughs> How the fuck did I do this? <laughs> um... I think Donkey Mint's level was the standout for me in, in the race levels. I feel like the race levels needed to be more bullshit for the Mario Maker race levels. Like, I wanted to see somebody get, like, Kaizo blocked and Kaizo fished. And I wanted to see somebody get fucked up. You know? That was the issue. I wanted to see somebody eat shit. I wanted something, like, wildly unfair to happen. <laughs> they felt very safe. If, if if that's the right word. I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Well, you know what? If I can't do it now, I'm glad I can do it on the stage. I can't do it. I think I don't really like Wind Waker speedruns much because I don't really care for all the pausing. <laughs> but, uh... I don't think I caught much of it. I think I was there at, like, the end. like one three you can get one quickly go from one to three you can go a little too fast but that's how you do it hey gg man the relief i felt when i got that so. final hit was uh was uh palpable uh chiro baka thank you for the 26 months thank you chiro baka yeah again like shout out to all all shout out to my teammates to third wall and shavda shout out to uh carl juz and shojo and shout out to uh, Furpy, D to the fourth, Mark Alarm, Kaizo Man, and everybody who's involved, uh, Dr. No, and just making sure Borgie Men as well, just like, and uh, Maddie, Idol, like everybody for, for doing all that because it, it was a ton of work. And you guys, like, you know, a lot of us are going to get the recognition, but you guys deserve a lot of the recognition as well, too. So just, uh, just awesome work. And thank you for. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It was a great time. And uh, I hope everybody had fun. And maybe we'll do it again someday. It, if we don't do it again, I mean, either way, it's great to... Uh, it was great just seeing everybody at GDQ again and stuff. And I had an awesome time. So thank you for having me. Love this jam on MC Kids. Yeah. Thank great job, so. everybody. Uh, Agnosis, thank you for the 40 months. Thank you very much. You think you might incorporate any ideas from GDQ levels in Grand Pro 3? Ask me again in 10 hours. Exactly 10 hours. Why couldn't Pooh run the Celeste race? Uh, Pooh, Pooh's wife had just Make got so. COVID and uh, he, he decided to stay home and, and help her out. And they have a kid, so. By the timer, yeah, in exactly 10 hours. So at the timer. <laughs> Uh, Scapara, thank you for the 20 months. Uh, I love, I love this. This is such a great end screen. Looks so good. 